I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and welcome to the recap of the June 2023 Chemnitz Dialogue live stream. To honor and respect Pride Month, I like to pick a rainbow each year and this year since I've been playing with lots of fluorescent rainbows, I went for our fluorescent rainbow image so we could play around with a lot of bright and dark contrast for our colorways. I wanted to quickly pop in front of the camera to talk about the fundraiser that I try to do every year in combination with the June Chemnitz Dialogue. And that is a fundraiser for the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project is an organization that provides crisis intervention and suicide prevention for LGBTQIA and questioning youth. This is a mission that is so important to me both as a human and as a parent. I feel that kids deserve to have a safe place where they can find someone who they can talk to as they explore their identity and who they are and how they want to express that to the world. The Trevor Project offers trained counselors 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can contact them through phone, text, and uh, through a web chat function as well. You can find more details through the Trevor Project down below. And you can also donate directly through their website, but if you donate through YouTube, YouTube will cover the credit card payment transaction fees, which is pretty awesome. And the money that you donate through my fundraiser goes directly to the Trevor Project. It does not pass through my hands at all. I just went and checked and we have raised over $2,000 for the Trevor Project. Thank you all so much to everyone who has donated. Uh, I am so excited uh, that we've passed. I've raised the goal a couple times that we've passed this, but you obviously can still donate. And so thank you all so much for helping me support this incredible organization. Our first colorway is on Knit Picks Hawthorne Fingering Weight Yarn, which is 80% Superwash Fine Highland Wool, 20% Polyamid. And I started dyeing this yarn before the live stream even started. I took the yarn, added just one end, but the majority of the yarn into a dye bath that had a mixture of navy, Dharma Dark Navy and True Black Acid Dyes. Yeah, it had about 200 milliliters of Dark Navy, 200 milliliters of a 1% stock solution of True Black. I added a big cup of vinegar and set it aside on the heat off camera. I think I may have a little uh, video where I can show exactly what I did for that, but I did that as the base for this rainbow colorway. And in that little bit of space that remained, I hand painted our yarn using Jacquard's six fluorescent acid dyes. And I'm trying to remember if I added a little bit of some turquoise blue to the black light blue, which is a fluorescent blue acid dye. Well, really it's blue acid dye mixed with a colorless fluorescent acid dye pigment. Um, but to create this rainbow, I think I used all of those colors, I believe. Now, I think the order that I did was hot fuchsia, fluorescent red, fluorescent orange, fluorescent yellow, chartreuse, and then black, light blue. But if you compare, I think I have a photo of what it looked like before I heat set to now, the colors all spread some. So we lost a little bit of the pink and the blue, but the whole thing is fluorescent. Let me turn off the lights so we can look at it properly. The blue looks great. Oh man, that looks so cool. I'm never going to get tired of seeing that fluorescent blue. I think on camera, it's not showing up as well as it is to me in person um, because I can see the blue glow. I think it's a little blown out. Maybe it's a color balance, but near the black, you can see a bit of that blue. It looks so fun. And here you can see all of it glowing. Oh my gosh, it is so, so fun. Yeah, it looks like in one of the skeins, we almost lost a lot of the blue and even the pink entirely. There's a hint of some of the blue there. It's just from how these colors spread. And so using some kind of thickener like guar gum would help them stay put or having a larger area and then painting in the black after might also help. Either way, this is a fun, beautiful colorway. And I know I'm not the first to do like a pop of rainbow against a dark background. That's a type of colorway that a number of other dyers have done, but it just felt super fitting 
especially with our inspiration. Oh man, why can't this show up like it is in real life? Next up, I did a resist colorway. Once again, using uh, some black and dark navy. I think I used 140 milliliters of true black and 100 milliliters of dark navy. Rinsing out some of my bottles to give sort of a midnight black, blue kind of color as the background. But I used zip ties for six resist points. And I believe I let chat vote whether I should do a pink based rainbow with some purple pop or if I should do a red and pink rainbow with just the jacquard colors. And clearly the purple won out. I now turned off my lights and boom! Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> Here you can really see those fluorescent blues pop along with the rest of the colors. I think having the contrast with the black next to it makes all of the colors stand out in a beautiful way. Now, part of the reason why this yarn base looks muted is this is some of the last of my dyer supplier, Silvery Sock, a company that is now out of business. And this was one of my favorite yarn bases from them. I think it was 20% Stellina, way more Stellina than you usually find in yarn. But I believe the yarn was 60% Superwash Merino Wool, 20% Nylon, 20% Silver Stellina. But yeah, this yarn is jam packed with so much Stellina and sparkle. You could even see a little bit of the sparkle in with like my diffuser up. Uh, it is beautiful and I want a new version of this base. If I'm going to be playing with dark and light contrast, one of my favorite yarn bases is Wool to Die For's Zebra line. This particular yarn base is 80% Superwash Merino Wool, 20% Nylon Fingering Weight. It is two ply and one of the plies is variegated white and black, giving us this fun zebra appearance uh, into the yarn. And because it's been reskained, we have sort of like color, a variegated pattern layered on a variegated pattern. It's super fun. I went for the more pink, pink leaning rainbow here. And I used the dry dye powders to hand paint onto the yarn. But the whole thing is just so fluorescent. It is awesome. I could have pumped up the volume and made the colors more saturated. I'm thinking that maybe I didn't flip it and add color to the other side, but I don't remember. Again, I, I try to film the recaps as soon to when I film the dye along video, but this time that didn't happen. <laughs> so it is what it is, but this is gorgeous. Because June is Pride Month, I always pick a rainbow inspiration uh, so that way we can celebrate pride. But I also welcome submissions of colorways inspired by any of the other pride flags. And before my live stream, I got a special request to do a colorway inspired by the trans pride flag. And so I wanted to do my version of this pastel pink, blue, and white colorway and create it a fluorescent celebratory speckled colorway using black, light, blue, and hot fuchsia. And my goal was to prevent creating as much purple as possible for two reasons. One, to honor the inspiration of the trans pride flag. But two, when you mix those colors, it sort of dulls the fluorescence a bit of both of them. And so I wanted to try to keep the celebratory bright. And so let's turn off the lights, bring out the black light. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cool. Let me zoom you in. Okay, here we are. Bam! Look at the black light blue! Oh my gosh, this is so much fun! This yarn base is Bear Knit Picks Muse. It is a single ply, heavy worsted or Aran weight yarn. It is such a fun, like, nice big twist yarn to play around with. I love dyeing it and I think that this colorway came out perfect. I am so proud of it because either one of these colors could have spread and we could have ended up with purple which would have been lovely just not quite what I was going for. Finally we have our two yarn mops and one of them has a lot more pink than the other. Uh, that one was probably from when I was doing the speckled colorway and you could get a feel for just how pigmented fluorescent fuchsia is compared to black light blue. I have to use a lot more of the blue dye to have the same 
visual impact of the colors. And these are both on Nitpick Stroll, which was 75% Superwash Merino Wool, 25% Nylon. And now it's time for my favorite part of these dye along recaps, where I share some of the yarn that you dyed inspired by the same inspiration photo or theme. There are so many ways to dye a rainbow, and even when I had a whole series dedicated to rainbow sets, I am still not done exploring with rainbow color palettes, especially not with fluorescent rainbow color palettes. And it's fun to see how so many different dyers will take a palette that is so joyful and create different types of colorways. If you would like your work to be featured in upcoming Chemnitz Style Long Recaps, just share photos of your work on Instagram using the Chemnitz Style Long hashtag, or reply to the pinned inspiration photo on the Chemnitz Public Facebook page. Now I have to shut off the lights one more time, bring our black light back out. Oh my gosh, I feel like the camera is overexposed, so you can't really appreciate the beautiful glow. Let me try again. Uh, as I move the light around, it is so bright and fun! Eventually, I plan to list this yarn in the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop. It may not be in there yet. But if you want to see yarn that I dyed in past Chemnitz Dye Along live streams, you can search my shop for Chemnitz Dye Along and the other Dye Along colorways should come up. But for all I mentioned the shop, instead of shopping with me, please go and make a donation to the Trevor Project. Again, I can't believe that we've raised over $2,000. This is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated. And uh, soon I should be sharing the July Chemnitz Dye Along inspiration photo. What do you think that we'll be dying up this month? I can't wait to find out. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and thank you so much for watching.